Hi everyone, I have an interview here with the new Game of Thrones world champion, Reinhardt, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Um, uh, we're just going to do a quick interview. I know you've got to fly back soon, so I'll not te take up too much of your time. But uh, how does it feel being a new world champion? It's, it's unbelievable <laughs> for me, because I also won this year the European Championship. And yes... I think I was the luckiest guy on the last day. I had good setup. Um, my opponents sometimes very bad setups, <laughs> especially uh, in the semi final against Nicola and Ruby. He played Lannister a lot of the crossing. Yeah. And I think it's the first time that I. Uh, could win intrigue challenges against uh, Lannister decks, yeah. and so yeah, it was. Nico told me it was no game because he had nothing. I had everything, and so I could go to the final. Sometimes you need that bit of luck yes. to be a world champion. You're always it's a card game. You always have. Uh, you always need luck to win yeah. the tournament. So, do you want to try to talk about your deck running Targaryen and uh, how you felt that went? Yes, I played Targaryen a lot of the crossing uh, since uh, half a year. Yeah. I played it, uh, I think, uh, two months before the European Championship. And that was uh, on the start of June. Yeah. So, I had. Many games with, with my deck, I played it a thousand times, I think so, on, on yes, in real life and also on the Iron Throne, but I think everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you, is there a key card or any new, yes. anything new yes. you put in? What, what's the, yes. the, the uh, key? To I think it's a deck I, I can win without any specific character. Yeah. But Hydrogo is amazing because you have the, uh, the opportunity to make a boss challenge. Yeah. And so I can uh, choose in which uh, challenge I can uh, make the power with the Agenda a lot of the crossing. Yeah. So it's amazing. And sometimes, yes, uh, the Benares is yeah. also an incredible. Uh, we did talk yesterday when I was writing an article why everybody was playing and um, you were saying that you, you have a plan B and you feel like that's important to have a, a second way to win? I think so. In, in, in some games, the, the way straight ahead is, is not the, the right and, and you couldn't win it in three or four plots. And yes. At the European Championship, I had the uh, House of the Undying. Yeah. So, if enough characters are in the dead file, I, I, I played it. Yeah. And even if there are small characters in the in the dead file, yeah. I, I am, I'm able to make my certain challenges. Yeah. That is important. And then, what about any interesting decks you played against? I know. Um, can't remember his name. Your friend with the uh, alliance. Yes, it's uh, that's, it's it's the deck of Gabriel <laughs> Rana, and he's I think one of the best deck builders because he always plays amazing decks, which no one will uh, expect. No one wants to expect. Um, yes, he played uh, uh, alliance yeah. with. Um, uh, yeah. Um, Greyjoy and, 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 and Dragon, Dragon yeah. to stand and to save all these characters and he, he brought on the board every <laughs> renowned character yeah. we know in the game. <laughs> it's, it was good to watch, I enjoyed watching him play that. Uh, did you face anything in the tournament that you were surprised by or was it all deck you expected to see? I was a little bit surprised that so many played uh, the Hyper Viper deck. But it's a good deck, and I think in a tournament, 
it has a right to be there. Yeah. <laughs> but in casual in casual games, I don't want to play against such decks because we are not playing against each other. Yeah. So he's playing his cards. I'm playing my cards. If I'm fast enough, I will win the game. Yeah. If if not. He will uh, win in the third challenge with the announce of Castle Black, and so it's yes. not it's not interacting. It's not an yeah. inter interacting game, and so I don't like to play such decks. But I think in a tournament, it's it good. has the right to be there because it's a good. Deck. Yeah, it's one of those where it might not be fun all the time, but if you can't, it, it's going to be there. So you have to have it in the back of your mind. Of course, you know. Um, is there anything about Game of Thrones, or anything just in general you'd like to talk about? No, I, I can only say I, I like I love this game. Um, it is always interesting to play. Yeah. It is, for me, it's never boring, and so for me, it's the only game that matters. Okay. And finally, uh, is there anything uh, for your German fans or your Austrian fans? You like saying German by your people? <laughs> so I, I have German friends in, so if you've got anything you'd like to say, uh, proud to be European and uh, dominating the North Americans. Burschen, ich habe es geschafft. Dankeschön. Bis bald. Uh, congratulations, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. No, and I hope to see you again. If I can get out to one of your events in Europe, I'll see you there. Hopefully you'll be back again next year as a yes. world champion. You'll have your seat reserved. I'm nearly sure that I'll come back. That's good, well, I'll see you next year. Thank you thank very you much. Bye-bye. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.